Creepy, kooky, mysterious, spooky. These are all words used to describe the infamous Adams family. And even though their house looked like a museum, they were thriving, content, dare I even say, happy. But all that changed one day when Morticia had a vision. Get in close, Wednesday, my little death trap. What's wrong, mi querida mia? You look like you've seen a ghost. How exciting! No, my dear. I've just had a wonderful vision. And so the two decided that it was time to have a child together. But not just any child. They were going to have the most sinister, diabolical child imaginable. An evil little girl. Though bringing a non-normie child into this world is no small task. At first, they tried the Frankenstein method. But their technology wasn't nearly advanced enough. Next, they visited an ancient pyramid to try and resurrect the mummy. But the bodies were all too old and fragile. Whether it was a deal with Davy Jones, an experiment with toxic ooze, or anything else in between, nothing they did seemed to work. What's wrong, my love? I'm starting to wonder if my vision was wrong. Maybe the fates decided we weren't meant to have children. We both know your visions always come true. We just haven't figured out how yet. What are you reading? It's a poem. I love this line here. Wednesday's child is full of woe. I haven't told you yet. But that's what the spirit said her name would be. Wednesday. Wait, that gives me an idea. What is it? We perform a seance. Today is Friday the 13th, the time where our connection to the spirits is most powerful. We can summon anything we desire strongly enough. But if we summon a little girl magically with a conjuration spell, she's all but guaranteed to be the most vile, devilish daughter in the history of mankind. It's perfect. And finally, the plan was set. Morticia and Gomez conducted the most powerful seance ever performed inside the Adams family home. They communed with the lost souls of the afterlife, reciting the ancient chant of the dead. Gomez, it worked. Dios mio! Thus, Wednesday Adams was born. As years passed, Morticia and Gomez loved her as much as any parents could and Morticia's vision had finally become a reality. It is not, however, where our story ends. Because even though Wednesday was an intelligent, strong-willed young woman that didn't fear anything, she didn't exactly fit into normie schools. For starters, the cool kids didn't like her at all. Wednesday despised both cheerleading and sports. The bright colors and pageantry of it all disgusted her to no end. But neither did the nerds. They couldn't understand Wednesday's penchant for old typewriters and other outdated technologies. And even though she was quite a brilliant writer, her attitude towards authority didn't make her too popular with the teaching staff either. She always stayed tough on the outside, never showing any signs of weakness to the bullies at her school. But deep down, Wednesday was heartbroken. She thought she didn't need anyone, that she could be a lone wolf. She didn't realize that even the toughest kids need a friend sometimes. Wednesday, are you all right, my dear? Yes, mother. Oh, my sweet black rose, what's the matter? Hmm? Is everything going well at school? Other than having to suffer through my annoying classmates and teachers near constant incompetence? Not really. You know, if you're unhappy at normie school, we could always have you attend Nevermore. It's a special academy for outcasts just like you. You know, your father and I- I'm not you, mother. I will never be you. I don't want to be the captain of multiple clubs or queen of the school dance. I don't want to live your life or be any part of your legacy. Oh, Wednesday. What are we ever going to do with you? 
From that point on, Wednesday decided to take matters into her own hands. She wasn't going to be bullied anymore. She was going to become the bully. She was going to use her impressive weapon knowledge and obsession with the macabre to get her revenge on all the other students that tormented her. No one was safe from her wrath. If she was going to be miserable, then everyone was going to go down with her. Even the staff. It got so bad, in fact, that the principal finally had to take a more drastic option. Wednesday is getting expelled? Surely we can come to some other solution. I'm sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Adams. I don't have a choice. Wednesday is no longer just a nuisance anymore. She's a detriment to the rest of the students and faculty here at Normie School High. Please, we urge you to reconsider. We understand that Wednesday can be a bit, well, eccentric. But she's a good kid at heart. Isn't that right, my little storm cloud? I'll enjoy watching your suffering most of all. Get out. Now! Unfortunately, Wednesday's attitude never changed. She was dead set on being the biggest troublemaker possible. School after school, principal after principal, the story stayed the same. More problems, more torture. All right, Wednesday. Took a lot of convincing, not to mention forged disciplinary records to get into this place. So please try to- To what? Be good? Just like the rest of the normies? Is that what you were going to say? I was going to say, make some friends. Your mother and I know you see the world differently than everyone else, Wednesday. We never ask you to be anybody but yourself. But that doesn't mean you need to do anything to get kicked out either. This is your last chance. If you don't make it work out here, then you'll be forced to attend Nevermore. No other school would even consider you. Have fun! And make sure nothing happens to your brother Pugsley, okay? We dropped him off earlier for swim practice. Keep him safe! Wednesday took that request very seriously. While she would never admit it to his face, she loved her brother. No one was going to mess with him without proper retribution. I'm sure you know how the rest of the story goes. Her brother was being picked on by the jocks on the swimming team, confirmed by one of Wednesday's visions, a power she inherited from her mother. Their signature brand of vengeance was executed quickly, with just a few piranhas, leading to her final dismissal from Nancy Reagan High and her ultimate enrollment in the school simply known as Nevermore Academy. Stop! Before we watch the ending, did you know that less than 15% of you are subscribed to the channel? That's crazy! Do yourselves a favor and hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on any awesome Game Tunes content. Alright, back to the video. And there, Wednesday was finally able to find a place where she belonged. She made new friends. Enid the Werewolf, Ajax the Gorgon, Bianca the Siren, Eugene the Beekeeper. A home to other outcasts, just like her.